As your core body temperature rises, your power and pace decline. However, using core data and training guidance, athletes can increase their performance by inducing heat adaptations with heat training protocols. Core's new heat adaptation score gives athletes an easy way to track their thermal fitness progress across time. Humans are organic creatures, uh, so what's really beautiful with that is that we actually adapt to basically different stimuluses. For example, if you expose your body to heat, it will also start to adapt to basically tolerate heat better. The blood plasma in your body actually increases uh, with the heat training in order to exactly increase your thermal capacity or storage so that basically you can tolerate heat better before performance is impaired. The heat adaptation score is Core's latest innovation in thermal optimization, and in combination with the recently released heat zones and heat strain index, athletes can use it to unlock a competitive thermal edge in their performance. The heat strain index, it combines your core and skin temperature into one number, so it describes how high your heat strain is. So this is why we develop these zones, and then you know if you have a certain heat strain index and that you are doing effective heat training and that it aids to your heat adaptation. Core has already seen adoption across the top of the major endurance sports, with virtually all of the pro cycling peloton using the product, as well as the top triathletes, runners, sports scientists, and more. Our top athletes and teams have known for quite some time that they see a lot of benefits to the adaptation. That's why they're doing heat training leading up to races and key performances. That's something that hasn't really been available to many athletes outside of the guidance of, of really expert coaches. What we've been developing behind the scenes is a way to make that more intuitive and automated for our users. With this new score, you'll be able to see based on how much time you've spent in each zone, how much adaptation benefit you've gotten and where you fall on the spectrum from zero to 100% and how much benefit are you gonna get on race day.